Just found out my wife is cheating on me. I'm really confused on what to do. My wife and I have been together for nearly 10 years. We've been married five years and have two beautiful girls, five and seven years old. I make a great living, six figures, in IT engineering, enough so my wife does not have to work. We have a six-bedroom house with a yard and swing set in the back. My wife's mother and 15-year-old sister live with us and I have been supporting them as well for over two years. Over the past few years my wife and I were starting to have a lot of issues and our relationship was dissolving. I could see it happening so I convinced my wife to go to marriage counseling with me. We've been going nearly every week since April. Neither of us was happy and counseling really opened my eyes to our destructive behaviors. I was working on becoming a better husband and father and I thought my wife was working too. In October I went away for a few weeks on business and was tipped off by a friend that my wife was spending a lot of time with a particular guy. I had met this guy once in the past and was told he was a friend of my wife's friends and that was about it. Needless to say I was on the next flight back home. That night when my wife picked me up from the airport she seemed distant and unexcited to see me. I had not said anything to her as to why I really had come back, just that I had missed her and the kids. When we got home she immediately went to bed. I stayed up for a little while and when she was asleep I grabbed her phone. FYI, when your spouse starts keeping their phone on them all the time even when they are sleeping or in the shower, they are hiding something. I found the guy's name and pulled up the text messages. She had erased them all. A quick glance at the cell phone records showed over 20 TXT messages to him a day. I woke her up and asked her to explain this. She denied everything, said they were just friends and she deleted them because she knew I would take it the wrong way. My suspicions grow larger every day and I begin closely monitoring her cell phone records. It grows too much for me to bear and I tell her that she needs to stop all communication with him. I even confront the guy, civilly, at his home and ask him to respectfully stop talking to my wife. He agrees to stop. My wife begins to hold resentment towards me because she feels I have broken up this perfectly acceptable friendship she has with him. She does however seem to stop texting and talking to the guy. I do however notice a sudden surge in her data usage from the phone which I identified as Facebook messaging. She clings to her phone ever closer now and constantly denies any communication with the guy. I begin feeling paranoid and decide to put it behind me and focus on being a better husband and father. I start listening, helping more with the kids, being more involved with their daily activities, not stressing as much about money and other minor issues. I start doing my own laundry and the kids just to help out. I start trying to be involved with what's important to her and what she's passionate about. She loves horses, I bought her a horse a few years back, and I help her try to find a job in the industry so she can get out more and have self-worth. It's now January 15th and we go out for big dinner to celebrate her brother's birthday. All of her cousins and friends are there and we have a great dinner. Most everyone, including her, go to the bar next door after dinner. I was hanging back in the restaurant with one of her cousins when the manager approached me with her phone asking if I knew who it belonged to. It was my wife's phone and I opened up her Facebook app to find a bunch of messages between them. She says how much she loves him and misses him. How she misses the smell of him on her jacket and how she'll never take it off. She also refers to him as my one and only. The messages just get worse and I can't take anymore. Her cousin reads the messages as well and also in shock. After confronting her and reading through all the messages, she admits to me that she had feelings for him but insists that they never had sex. She claims that they only kissed on two occasions. I tell her that I can't believe her and that I don't trust a word she says. I truly believe they didn't have sex but I won't tell her that. She tells me that she was with him because of me and the years of neglect I gave her. I feel like my world is collapsing around me. I feel betrayed, furious and foolish all at once. I don't want to get a divorce. But I don't want to be married to someone that doesn't love me. 
She says she wants to work through this but I don't know what I want yet. I feel like she is yearning to find her individuality and wants to prove that she doesn't need me. I love her and find it difficult to be angry. But I feel that the only way she'll appreciate what she has is by losing it, or at least some of it. What should I do? Edit thank you for all the advice, this has been really helpful for me. I just wanted to give you an update of what I have put into motion since this has all happened. Speak to a lawyer. I spoke with one last week. He gave me some great advice. At the time I was staying with a friend and he told me I needed to go back home. In my state there is an abandonment clause and she could say I deserted her and the kids. So I'm back home. Sleeping in the basement. He also told me I have enough evidence to prove she committed adultery and because of that I may not have to pay her alimony. Child support obviously yes, but not a penny more. He did also tell me whatever I do, don't have sex with her. If I do I'm condoning the affair and have no grounds to say she committed adultery. He told me that he advises his women clients to try and get in their husband's pants if they cheated on him. Protect your assets. I have opened up a new checking account in my just my name and have already changed my direct deposit to this account. I cancelled all of our joint credit cards and enabled fraud and credit monitoring. Ditch the mother and sister. I spoke with a realtor last week and will be putting my house on the market next month. I told them they will have to sort out a place for themselves after I have sold the house. On another note, my wife did go out and find a job. She's working for her uncle's moving company making shit but I hope she can now appreciate what a hard day's work feels like. I'm sure it was in response to the fact that I told her I wouldn't be paying for the boarding or feed of her horse anymore. That and when I cancelled her gas card. I had bought her a Lexus GX470 and I can tell you it isn't cheap filling that sucker up. As far as the kids go, I'm doing my best to minimize the impact on them. I won't argue or fight around them and I make sure they are well taken care of. I think the best thing I have gotten out of this is knowing that it is not my fault and that it is she that needs to try hardest to fix things. Thanks. Edit 8 months later. In a nutshell, I'm doing a lot better. Over the months I have been on a roller coaster of emotions with highs and lows. For a while I was severely depressed and in a dark place. It was hard for me to get out of bed in the morning and go to work. In fact, a lot of the time I didn't. I had a lot, and still do, of pain and anger to work through. My first instinct was to get back at her and really make her feel the consequences of her actions. We decided on a monthly amount of money that I would pay her for child support. Which was much more than I was required to pay her by law, but I felt it was the right thing to do at the time. My lawyer drafted up the settlement agreement and all we had to do was sign. Knowing what she could expect from me each month, she found a house for rent about 45 minutes from the city. It seemed like a nice place for the girls to live and the schools are really good. I knew she couldn't afford such a nice place closer to town so I thought it would be good. Part of the settlement agreement was that a non-related member of the opposite sex could not spend the night while the children were present. I.e. she can't have her boyfriend sleeping over when the kids were there. This also applied to me, no chicks spending the night when the kids are with me. Now this provision of the settlement agreement is actually quite common and endorsed by our state. Needless to say within the first week of her moving into her new place and before we had a chance to sign the settlement agreement she had this dickhead sleeping over several nights a week. The kicker is, she tried to have the kids lie about it to me. This really pissed me off. I had my lawyer revoke the settlement offer and I told her the new deal was I would give her nothing, ask for everything and only pay the child support as obligated by the state. Not a penny more. Took her a while to realize she fucked up, but now she is struggling to make ends meet. Don't get me wrong, the kids are well taken care of. I always make sure they have everything they need when it comes to food, clothing, play and anything else. I just pay for that directly, I don't give the money to her. She still doesn't have a job. She says she's looking, 
but to be honest I don't care, it's her problem now, not mine. I started doing CrossFit and have completely transformed myself. It has really helped me through this. I'm in the best shape of my life. I feel amazing and am brimming with confidence. Me now. I met a new girl who was amazing. I think I like her so much because she is the polar opposite of my ex. She is smart, extremely successful, beautiful, has ambitions and we get along great. I'm not diving right back into another relationship, I made that perfectly clear with her from the get-go, and she completely understands what it is we have and is okay with it. Meeting the new girl was really the turning point for me. I now had a friend who I could talk to, spend time with, comfort me and be intimate with. It lifted my spirits and changed my general mood. I was starting to become happy again. And since then things have only got better. I was able to let go of a lot of the anger I had towards my ex. My ex and I actually get along really well now. We talk regularly and always put the kids first. I may hate what she did to me and I will never forget that, but she is the mother of my children so it's in everyone's best interest that we get along. No we are not going to get back together. I can never, and will never, trust her again. But we can be friends and get along. There are certainly things that I will not get over. The son of a bitch who she cheated on me with is one of them. As I told her, I will never accept him or even acknowledge his existence. It would be best, especially for him, if I never saw him again. There is more if anyone is at all interested. I posted this latest follow-up because someone was curious how things were going. I also just wanted to say thank you to everyone here who provided me with such good advice and support. And if you are going through this yourself, I'm sorry, but be strong. You will get through this.